Alrighty, hello folks. Welcome, welcome. It's been a while since I've uh, done a live stream or played Scrap Mechanic. So I think it's time to uh, get a new outfit. Hello, Jim Jam, Lillian, Ravine, and SRY. Is your name just sorry? I'm sorry, your name's sorry. Hello, Malbix. Want to see how you do it? Oh, it's, it's really easy. It's really, really easy. Technically, I've already done it before, but let's just focus on this uh, outfit. I don't think I really need... You know what, let's go with this angry face. No hair on the face. No hair on the head. No hat. No shirt. No gloves. No pants. Get rid of that one shoe that I have. And I, I'm stuck with the backpack. Alright, I think this is my new outfit. Soy Durfo La Pelado. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with that. Plain autopilot. Blah, 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 blah. We need some number logic stuff. I think that's it, actually. <clears throat> oh, hey, Lillian. Thank you for 37 months of being a member. Hi, if you don't have a mom that loves you, I'll be a stand-in for her. <laughs> I don't require gifts. Only that you let me bully? What? Bully you with love and support? Is that supposed to be bully? You're gonna bully me with love and support? Hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't even know how to address that. I appreciate the sentiment, but I think that my own mother was under the same impression of bullying somehow being a good thing. As long as it's with love, right? <laughs> uh, I, I, whatever, I don't, I don't even want to get into a whole thing about it. Thank you, Logan. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Half a stack of membership months? What you doing? <laughs> wow. Alright, alright. What do I actually need? I think I think that's it, right? I'll just uh, come back. I'll load in some Wordle, too. Why not? Maybe some physics toy? I never really tried the grappling gun, did I? The teleport gun. Oh no, I did try the grappling gun. It was just like the rope mod for the player. Anyway. <clears throat> The mod for auto turrets. Alright, so if you've seen a previous build of mine, actually I don't know if I can even load it in. I didn't load in all the polygons. But I have the Satisfactory truck and station. This is a self-driving... Yeah, it, 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 don't, I don't have the polygons loaded in. But it's a... a <laughs> and the station's invisible. But uh, basically this was a programmable self-driving truck. And the way that it worked was using waypoints. So I used a bunch of memory panels, where are they? Right here. To uh, basically store like an XY position on the map. And then I used the principles of the orient block, like the, the automated turret stuff, to basically steer the front wheels. To point to the next waypoint. And it, it's actually very, very simple, because then once you get... Because I just use a... Uh, <laughs> speaking is hard. I, I use a distance measurement from this virtual waypoint that I created to, like, how close are we to the waypoint. If we get close enough, then we switch over to the next waypoint. So that's how you can just form a line of waypoints. Go from one to the next, one, two, three, four, five. And, uh, yeah, that's how the self-driving truck worked. So you just drive it around first manually, recording these waypoints. Uh, you can drive it in a loop. You can do whatever you want. You can drive it up to a station and uh, put one of the waypoints near the station, which would make the truck park there for like 10 seconds. Uh, so the station could load or unload whatever it had to do. Anyway, we're gonna be building this again, but like with a plane. 
So, because I'm lazy, I'm going to be using this plane that I've already built, or, you know, something like it. Uh, but you can see it already has camera controls. No! What did I do? Fucking check the workshop page. It's the mod pack polygons. All right, fine, I'll go get it. <laughs> Gosh darn. All right, camera control plane. This bad boy is always active. So it's a very simple plane, just like the blue one. I kind of prefer the blue one because uh, it's it's more fun to do barrel rolls and like fly upside down and fly sideways, which is called like knifing in a, in a stunt plane. But this is just a regular old plane. Um, so even if I press like left and right, I can't do a barrel roll, even if I want to. So how it works is just camera controls and it's going to try and keep the plane upright no matter where you point. No matter where you point, it's just, um, yeah. So turning left and right is just moving your mouse over and it automatically does this sort of roll pitch thing all by itself. So this uh, very easy to use plane is what I'm gonna be giving the autopilot thing. And then I also wanna be able to uh, <clears throat> Well, I'm just going to put like a check, I think. If the last checkpoint has been reached, or like the next one is 000, I'll just turn off the plane for like a landing. So that's already set up, ready to go. The only thing that we need to change now is the... Ugh. <laughs> okay, I need a manual mode for like actually recording point. I need so much on this plane. This plane's not big enough for this. I can just add more wings. All right, memory panels. Actually just logic. Um, wait, I want that in my second hotbar. Um, um, I don't know if we are going to need that. I mean, where do we have some of it, but memory panels we're going to need. I think that's it. Yeah. And maybe just like a block to build with. Mad ultra light. Keep my plane lightweight. All right. Yeah. I already have a connect tool. I'm Teleport glad gun. You are not doing a Tears of the Kingdom stream. I would have to intentionally not watch your stream for the first time. My <laughs> collector's edition will arrive late. Angry cry. Tears of the Kingdom? What even is that? I, I just don't know what it is. Sounds like a Disney game. Wait, what? I thought this... It looks like a spud gun. Wait, this is a different grapple gun? Why am I swimming? What? Okay, not the grapple gun that I thought I'd... I guess I played with another one before. Anywho, anywho, let's let's get to this plane. Um, <clears throat> I think let's just okay. Let's let's get a rundown of what this plane is actually doing. We got the camera controls in the front. What is this thing doing? So they're going into multipliers. So I have some multiply by like 180 or something. Down here, we got... Uh, 
Okay. <sighs> okay, I remember how I built this now. Yeah, the reason why it stays upright is actually because of this. Where is it? There's another orient block here somewhere. Isn't there? What? I'm confused. I thought I had a second one. Let me look at this <laughs> blueprint. There's only one. All right. So then I'm, I'm I am smarter than I was in the past. I mean now. In the past, I was smarter than I am now. Because <laughs> uh, the the way this works is the left and right signal for the camera orient block is what tilts the plane. Roll controls, but that's that's why the negative is here for the left and positive here for the right. And we're taking the negative version for one side so they don't both tilt up and down when you're looking left and right, they do alternate. And that's separate from looking up and down. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't exactly see All right, well, anyway, I need to make a copy of this. Uh, actually, what I need is... Oh, God. Oh, God, I forgot a part. The tracker is super important. Boop. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Oh, my God, what am I going to do? What do I do? <laughs> All right. That tracker is going to be. Ugh. Ugh. You know what? Fine. Whatever. I'll just start building out here a big old thing like this. Doesn't matter. I'll just stuff it with logic as long as it flies. Is that even even? Is that even even? Or is that even odd? <laughs> you guys probably have no idea what I'm even saying to myself. So we need a tracker. We need an RGB set of numbers. We're going to get the position of that tracker. <laughs> That one right there. This is so dumb. Does this work? No, that doesn't work. Okay, yeah. No, 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 no. You gotta do it like this. There you go. So you get the XYZ of the tracker that's here on the plane. Which you can put into these. And then feed them back into the tracker. <laughs> okay. All I did was create a virtual tracker in the exact same position. As the physical tracker. For this, though, <clears throat> we're going to do another system. Whoops. Okay, now this one. Ugh. Yeah, whatever. My layout's going to be garbage, but whatever. It's going to work. Oh, <laughs> fine, uh, fine, I'll give myself some more space. <laughs> Jeez. All right, all right, so how do I do that switch thing? That switch thing 
Jeez, I even forget what I'm doing sometimes. Or like how I used to build things. A multiplier. And another multiplier. So basically, if... There you go. There you go. Switch between one and the other. Except we need three of these. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just move those over. Right here. Altitude. <laughs> Don't know why I couldn't read English there for a second. Not that one, this one. Okay, we don't need these. Alright. Don't need any of this, actually. Okay, now the second system is going to be memory panels. So one for X, Y, Z, and then I think we're also going to need one for uh, the thrust. Actually, no, I don't. Yeah, because when X, Y, Z is equal to zero, 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 meaning it's a blank memory slot, I'll just assume that it's off. I'll just assume that it's the last one. All right. Hello, Durf. Escape room two is close to being complete. But I have been doing other things instead of working on it. I will notify you when I complete it. Well, d all right, thanks. I can't. Yeah, I can't wait till to, to to play it. I might switch over to some challenge mode later today. But I've also been like super busy with some other stuff. Oh, hold on a second, guys. I got a. I got a cat. Meow. 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 Let's <laughs> just freak my cat out so he runs out faster. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then both of these... Oh, God. This was really a terrible layout. <laughs> and then both of these... Uh. Yeah, whatever. We'll just put them here. R, G, a B. There you go. So this tracker is going to be switching between literally itself. And a virtual location. All right. <clears throat> Now, now, no, 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 the input right here, and a tick button to write X, Y, Z, the input, hold on a second, I need more, <laughs> more space, this will also count up a counter, which itself will be the slot number. So we just progress to the next slot. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, I gotta I gotta change that too eventually in the future. Like when I'm recording, oh my god, alright, alright, alright. Fine. Need even more space. <laughs> this, this is this is not a plane anymore. I can't, the wheels aren't even touching the ground. Ugh, how am I gonna even move all this logic? I mean, technically it's not connected to the plane, so I can still detach it fine. I really shouldn't have put the tracker there, huh? I'll just stick it here. There you go. 
Oh, that's not good. What are you doing? Oh, is that just because I picked it up on the lip? Whatever, 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 man. What are you... <laughs> these darn, these darn physics. Okay. You're still doing it. How is your position Y flickering? I think it was just glitched out. All right. <laughs> I just... Thanks, thanks, Yorit, for the two euro super chat. I don't know where the text to speech is. I think I just saw that early. All right, so we are we're gonna need that counter to keep track of which slot number we're on, I think. But this has to also be a part of... With this setup, it can never fly around your mom. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> okay, so if we're in record mode... Yeah, we just need one multiplication here, and then another multiplication here. And then the actual plus. Oh my gosh, okay. We'll put them both out here. Why not? Why not? So this is gonna, whenever it writes, counts up. You know what, maybe I'm not gonna put it here. But that multiplication is going to be when we're recording, which isn't going to be controlled by a switch in the end, but that's going to be the multiplication. So we turn on recording mode, it's going to start inputting this number as the slot ID. Okay, when we're not in recording mode, then it's going to change the slot ID to something else. Which is basically going to be controlled by when we're close to our target. So that's where the second thing right here comes in. Second orient block. Distance to the target. There you go. And now when that... We'll just have a, a straight up number check. Oh. Distance is going to be less than some amount that I just set right here. Uh, maybe like, we're going to be flying in the air, right? So maybe like, uh, maybe just straight up 100 blocks. Within 100 blocks move to the next checkpoint virtual waypoint in the air yeah so I don't need this anymore uh, so if the distance is greater than 100 activate a little logic boop that flicks a tick that counts up a counter that is multiplied by this when we're in playback mode instead of recording mode and that's going to be fed into our virtual waypoints to follow or like rather which one right so when we get when we get within 100 blocks of our current virtual waypoint wherever it is in the world uh, we move over to the next one in, in the memory slots. All right. Seeing all this happen live without any time lapsing, it makes me feel how good about how slow my building is. Wait, 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 what are you saying about my building? Is it like super duper slow? Super duper pooper slow? I mean, I like to take my time with things. I like to be patient because 
I'd rather get things done right the, the, the you know the first time even though I still take several attempts but whatever Uh, yeah, so now what we're going to be doing is also checking a little equals. Where the heck <laughs> it's equals and just a zero in there. So if yeah, if this and this and this and this are all equal, which they currently are. Then, uh, that is the thruster power, on or off, to, to fly the thruster. Okay, so what exactly did I do now? <laughs> what exactly did I do? When this thing is on in recording mode, it's... Okay, there's one more, there's one more piece of logic that I need to build, which is basically just the controls. This is currently in camera mode. Actually, do I even need to build the controls? I just switch it to tracker mode. No, that's, that's, that's the thing. That is the thing that is different. I might need to duplicate this entire system. Actually, actually, I don't need to duplicate. I just need to duplicate the top three. All right. You like to be patient. I like to be a patient. We are not the same. What? <laughs> Wait, you like to be a patient? What? <laughs> what? Oh, and joke was ruined because text-to-speech took way too long. Yeah, we weren't even talking about being patient anymore. But being a patient? Wait, you like to be a patient? Well, I guess that means something different than, like, liking to be sick, right? You don't... I'm, I'm guessing you don't like to be sick. Alright, one of them is player camera. The other one is tracker. And then each of those are going to have their... WSADs. Probably shouldn't mix and match my orders from left to right. All right, and then recording. When you are in recording mode, your controls must be camera controls. When you are not in recording mode, your controls must be track the nearest tracker, because that is going to be a virtual tracker and not this physical tracker. When we switch this. But it's set to zero now anyway. Actually, if we... Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to add more display blocks just so I can see what the numbers are. Let's just, uh... Oh, yeah, and then we count it up to the next counter, too. Yeah. So we're also going to need... Oh, no, wait, because that one stays at zero. Okay, I thought I was going to have to reset the counters there. 
which I could put in like an extra little bit of just uh, reset logic. Where the heck do I put it? I'll just stick it over here. Wait, not that one. The counter, and then this counter. Okay, so just a simple... Press this button, clears everything, resets everything, back to zero, zero, zero. Everything's ready to go again. We are in... What is this, recording mode? Yes, we can... There you go, press another button, and then go back. Well, the position's gonna... Okay, whatever. <laughs> the position didn't change, because this darn thing was welded in the ground anyway. Okay, but yeah, now we can see that the, uh, the, the, the vertical is negative, meaning up. So now if I... Tracker position, the virtual tracker position was like over there somewhere. So if I hit this over there, you're gonna see this... Um... Um... Are you even tracking the tracker? Oh, now you turn off? What? God, I hope I... I hope this is not gonna be borked up. Because people were reporting problems with the orient block doing the wrong direction. Alright, I'm pretty sure... You know what? Let's, let's just reset the system. Go back to recording mode. We're gonna record the virtual tracker position. Get out of recording mode. So now it's it's tracking, which it should be right here. Right where this tracker was. Physically. So if I move it back a little bit. You know, so the orient block is facing the target. It should be to the left of this, right? So is that why this is off? I don't know. Let's try turning it on. <laughs> let's let's try turning it on by giving it a couple smacks. That always does the trick. Wait, it should still be to the left. Huh? D dude, this Orient. Ah, whatever. All right. I'll just uh. I'll do all right. Well, I think the system's pretty much done for, like, a, a test drive, so... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, let's just stick it on the back of my plane. <clears throat> I think I'm also going to, like, stuff my plane with more wings all over the place. Uh, because if I try flying this thing right now, well, nothing's gonna happen anyway. Reset. Right. Yeah, it's a little bit too much weight in the back. Just a little bit too much weight. Okay, it's just not balanced at all. <sighs> all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Where, where, what, what am I, what am I actually gonna do here? With this hunk of logic? Do I have, okay, wings.
this is a stupid looking plane right now. But I can always, like, rearrange parts later. Oh, great. They are upside down. Well, shoot. Great, you two. All right, I don't know how I managed that, but easy fix. Wait, this way. <laughs> Easy fix if I do it right. Remember when I said I wanted to get things right the first time? Yeah. About that. <laughs> I just want to see if I, like, got it balanced now. Because, like, part of the plane's design was that it was perfectly balanced just the way that it was. So that's what allows the camera controls to work as good as they do. So this is, uh, kinda working like it should. It does not turn as forcefully as it should. It does pitch up and down all right, and the back seems to have enough lift to account for all that logic, so that's good. Whether or not I'm thrusting the thrusters, it's also very balanced. I, I think I just got lucky with that. So there's one thing that I still got to fix, though, with the, uh, with the actual flying. Nash more of these. And they are also backwards. Yeah, that's the right way. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh bu 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 Where the heck? That's the one. <laughs> Which one did I grab now? Uh oh. <laughs> I think you can just chain the uh, the the wings. No. Wait. Maybe you can't. No. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can just chain them together. The problem with doing that though is that they have like a one tick delay. So I don't, I don't like that <laughs> nitpicking about a single tick. Even though, even though my shenanigans over here, shenanigans of a loop of tracker position is three ticks. What the heck did I just grab? All right, so. Uh, so long as this uh, plane is like super duper responsive about where it's pointing, then uh, then we can flip it over to those waypoint position things. First person's not bad. Third person takeoff is awful. All right, yeah, it it pointed straight. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty darn good pointing exactly where I pointed. Took a little bit to get there, but we're we're basically getting there. This is also kind of very fast for the thruster. 
It's a fast plane. I kind of wish it wasn't so fast. But the thruster needs to be this fast to take off because of the stupid shape that I built. <laughs> this map feels small for, for the plane. Anywho, let's, uh, well, let's get this uh, logic on here. Uh-oh. Just land it. Just land it. All you gotta do is land it. There you go. Alright. So for these controls... It's better to... I think just keep the one that's on front. I'd actually just move it to the front. I'm gonna put, uh... The tracker one on right up there. You know, I might as well also do the up, down, left, right. color coded right clear the system oh my god am i stuck okay well, system's off erm um, erm we can just get rid of W S is in this one. Did I just grab the red one? The red one goes in the red one. Oh, I don't think it matters, actually. Why am I even keeping track of this? Because I'm going to delete this, too. What I have to do here in the front... Okay, so the camera controls are these... Probably better to. Oh shoot! I can't. I can't. Is this what number is this? Seventy. All right, give me a second, guys. I got. Uh, I got that cat. Okay. Alright, so this is a little bit of a problem, but you know, using an existing build, because um, like all this logic is crammed in here in between the wings, and I don't want to like take it apart just to rebuild it, even though I could very easily do that. I'm stubborn. So, what I'm going to do instead is disconnect this. Actually, I'm going to take it on a lift. Okay, since this is all attached to all of the wings and then this stuff as well so these these multiplications right here are the the source of everything right now we're actually gonna make them plus blocks and we're not attaching this okay so now we're gonna be uh wait a second why did I Oh, yeah, because they're... Okay, so they're WASD signals. Yeah, so I gotta disconnect them here. Like this. Okay, so we got WASD from the camera and the tracker. We need both of those to go into the plus blocks. For WS and AD. 
and that's where I had oh god that's where I had these in the back powered by the switch to switch between systems so we don't we don't need this because it's all in the front so this I'm gonna do a little bit of a back and forth here I think which I already did actually yeah for the uh, for the tracker camera it goes here camera goes here and then both of these or all four of those I should say go back into the uh, go into the plus also they all need to be multiplied by this 70 which I could just move here I guess but I don't wanna I don't wanna you know it is nice racking my brain over some dumb logic thing in scrap mechanic <laughs> it's a nice break from what I was doing before which is a whole lot of stuff like website stuff game development stuff some some business stuff for YouTube so this is simple this is simple for me uh, yeah and then we get all of this all this goes in here uh, wait, wait, that's the that's the that's the red one. That's the red one. Add it into the red one. That's the blue one. That's the red one. So if you're watching me like do all this multiplication stuff and you have no idea what's going on, this is a very simple like number logic switch. It's the same thing that I did over here, basically. When the switch is on, we're using one set of numbers. When the switch is off, we're using another set of numbers. And like all these, these two rows of multiplications, they're just being multiplied by zero or one. So the entire row is going to be zero or whatever numbers they are. And so then both rows get added into a single addition, right? So if you're adding whatever number and zero, it's just going to be whatever number. Same for the other side. If it's going to be whatever number and zero, it's just going to come out to be whatever number. So it's just a, a digital kind of switch for numbers. One number or the other. You multiply by one or zero. So that's how I'm creating a, a camera control system that works with the player camera or the virtual tracker position, which is currently zero. And then we also have to turn on the plane there you go for the for our camera controls all right uh, are we done are we done are we actually done we're not done you know what we're not done uh we're not done let's turn this off if all of those are equal to zero and we are in flight mode, also equal to zero. There you go. Okay, okay so now this... if this is even gonna work like uh, like it should I mean good enough I'm being nitpicky about tick delay again why did I even put it there <laughs> one of the dumbest places to put it okay get that WS signal into here and a simple multiplication together. If we're allowed to thrust, then we thrust. I hope that I can just run that with a number and don't have to run it through another logic. Uh, 
Okay, the, the thruster lock works. <laughs> Just walking around a part and scrap mechanic, be like. Get, I, I can't even get stuck on it if I try. Alright. Hey, Neon Ben. Hello, I haven't been here for a long time. I haven't been streaming for a long time. It's been a while. Thruster connection is missing. Is it? No, it's not. I got it on the... Wait, how long ago was that message? I don't know. <laughs> so, I think... Uh, I just want to double check. When we're on, we're currently going to be inputting... We're not inputting anything. I'm so confused. Maybe that's why my tests earlier didn't uh, didn't work the way that I thought it did. What am I actually recording in here? There's just a slot. There's no actual numbers being put in here. That's what I need to to still connect. Right? Which would just be these. X, Y, Z. I think. So let's get rid of this lift. Everything's reset. Record mode is on. So it's like as if I'm flying around. The tracker, the virtual tracker position is right there tail of my plane, so let's go ahead and uh, record a position. Boop. So, we're not, uh, I mean, we're still tracking the, the camera anyway, so recording is not going to affect our, yeah, it's not going to affect anything. So, let's move this back. Oh my god, just go back. So, like, physically, this sensor in the front, the orient block in the front, is uh, going to be behind where where that tracker position was, virtually. My hammerheads are in sync with the music. Well, they were. Anyway, um, so then when we switch over to this playback mode, it is going to turn which way? To the right? Why? Why are you turning to the right? I'm telling you, the, the the orient block's like messed up or something. It's even more to the right. Now to the left. Wait, what? Is it doing the opposite of what it should? Is it flying away from these targets? What the heck? How the heck? <laughs> How the heck did I manage that? Okay, clear everything. Tracker. You know what it is? No, I, I don't know what it is. Because the tracker is being fed a virtual position from the memory panels. Does 
doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna go ahead and fly it. <laughs> uh, there's also something else that I gotta... Because if I switch over, the plane doesn't fly on it. Oh my god, can you just go... Get stuck on something. So if I'm in playback mode, I want to actually fly the plane. Which basically means disconnect the thruster here. Do another switchy, switchy mix switch. So that's the manual controls if I'm allowed to press or not, which is already working for the most part. Why Why am I doing an extra switch, extra titch? You know, I, I don't care anymore. I just want to get it done. <laughs> and so then when the other thing... Oops. Yeah, and then it should just be this. No, 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 no. Don't fly on without me. I think I got it wrong. Let's just undo what I did. Stick this back in the plane. So this works for, like, when I'm allowed to fly the plane and shuts off It's always going to be zero if I'm not pressing W. That's the problem. That's the problem. I'm pretty sure all I want to do is just... This and this. In the thruster. So I'm still gonna have my manual flight controls. Yeah, you know why I think it's flying is because. Wait. There we are, we reset. Why are you flying? You're not supposed to be flying. I mean, I don't mind. I don't have to press W, but... Does the WS from the tracker give you its uh, high or lower from you? Or if it's in front or behind you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it works just like a tracking turret like anything else. So, you know, 180 degrees behind me. Like, for camera controls, it works just fine, right? So if it was a camera position that it's tracking, or a, a tracker position that it's tracking, or, you know, some other target, like another player, it would point where it points. That, that was the, the whole... That's the whole point of the Orient block working that way. So there shouldn't be any problems with that. I just don't... Right now, I'm... I'm just trying to figure out this uh, last thruster issue, because that's the thing that allows me to switch from... from the autopilot to manual flight mode. And right now I'm kind of confused about how I had it working before. Where I could thrust as much as I wanted, whenever I wanted, whenever it was uh, in manual mode. I didn't really do anything though. Just disconnect this again. So this into the thr thruster. Cannot fly. Yeah, that is the problem, is it not? That is the problem. What the heck am I doing?
I, wh why am I like stuck on this of all things? When I'm in the playback mode and everything's equal to zero, turn off the thruster. That's what I wanted. So if everything's not equal to zero, there's a position to fly to. Meaning this will be on, even if it's in playback mode. But this is a multiplication which will be multiplied by zero. I'm pretty sure it's just what I wanted. It's just the... Like what I was doing. Make this the multiplication. Should we just get rid of this for a second? is kind of dumb, but I think that's how I give myself both sets of controls. So yeah, playback mode, my WS is not going to do anything. Manual flight mode, I'm flying automatically. Why? Why am I flying automatically? I'm not supposed to be flying automatically in manual mode. Why was this on? It should all be zero, zero, zero anyway. This should have been reset. What's going on? It is indeed zero. Slot zero. All these numbers should be zero, zero, zero. Which means it should be equal. It's the switch. I'm being a dingus. Ugh. Alright, I got so hung up on <laughs> such a such a dumb part of my build. I just need to redo it. <laughs> I just need to redo it entirely, because I'm trying to make this old thing work from before. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to commit... Commit redo. This is still a good check to keep though. I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep it. If all of the coordinates are zero zero zero. Don't give power to the thruster. What am I? What, what, what am? What am I actually doing here? What, what do I actually want to check? The switch is going to be record mode or, or you know, playback mode. So if we are in playback mode and everything's equal to zero, isn't there just a NAND for that? Nor. Not in playback mode. No, I think it's it's NAND that I want. Because we can be in playback mode. Nah, 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 nah. I have to do it this way. Okay, this way because this is specifically checking that all the coordinates are zero, zero, zero. I don't want to accidentally trigger something when coordinates happen to be 0, 0, 0 in like another mode or something, so. There you go. Then this mode. And then the opposite of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. What? I'm pretty sure I could rewire that, but whatever. So this is gonna go into an addition. We need that WS from the seat, a multiplication of our manual flight mode, so we're only allowed to press 
when we're manually flying. That's not even the right block. And then we add both of them in, and that's into the thruster. I feel like I built the exact same thing. So let's hop in and see. Oh yeah, this is currently in playback mode. So pressing W is not going to do anything and there's zero, 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 so we're not flying anywhere. Why do when I turn it on? I did it again. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I do this? When the switch is on. What the heck? That should not be on. Like that? There you go, that's it. There we go. I was just missing that one connection. Holy moly, takeoff is awful. So much ground friction from this terrible plane design. Okay, so I think I finally got that. Let's get this uh, waypoint thing going. How long have I been even uh, building for here? What's my time? One hour? One hour, ten minutes? think I've got it? Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> okay. Make sure everything's reset. Alright. So I'm going to try something uh, very simple without this lift in the way. Um, so manual flight mode. Three to record. That's going to be a little bit awkward for me. But it's only two buttons, just W and whatever, so... Uh, I'm going to just do a first... Oh my god, can I take off? Why can't I take off? Why can't I take off? What is happening? Why can't I take off? I literally took off like a while ago. Why? You know, maybe I gotta increase the uh, that multiplier thing that I had. It might be too heavy of a plane. I could add like a butt ton more wings. I mean, it seems fine when it's, like, floating down like this. Let's try, um... Try... A little bit more effectiveness on the wings. Does that work? Why the heck can't you just take off? Oh. Alright, we're doing it. We're just adding wings. Maybe it is just the stupid long thing that I put in the back. Wait a second, wait a second.
why doesn't it feel like they they do tilt what the heck okay I think it's just because the back wheels are not wheels I think it's literally that's literally it Oh, if only I could detach you without destroying you. Time for an even lazier solution. Not to make it too heavy, though. Right, it would probably help if I put it in uh, flight mode. Okay, so now I can take off the ground. That's good. Okay, good. Does it still point? Does it still go to where I point? Not really. Sorta not really. It might be too heavy now. Yeah, not, not for those like 180s. All right, I'll freaking add more wings to the back. No. <laughs> oh. I'm just building a hard drive in storm work. What? It's currently done. But trying to move the logic down. Eh. What uh, what kind of wing are you? Oh, you're the same kind of wing. Okay, let's give this a try. Very easy to take off. It still feels like sluggishly slow. I might have to add some more of those yaw tail fins. But you know what, this is kind of fine actually. And like because of how much weight I'm adding onto this, I was gonna lower the thruster but I don't think I have to. I think it's sort of balanced out. Okay, so that means... Uh, do, do I have... Um, I, I don't know which slot I'm on for the memory panel, and I can't see... Yeah, it's slot zero. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, try recording a path. Wait, I can't do that! <laughs> did I connect to the tick button? I don't remember. I think I did, but... I think we're finally ready to, to test and then see how my tracker orient block is messed up. So let's reset this, make sure we're on slot zero. All right, we're ready to record some positions. We're just gonna do a simple test, I think. Anything else? Anything else? I think we're good. And then when I switch over, it should automatically fly on its own for the, the path that I recorded. So we're gonna start just a simple kinda, we'll go, we'll put one waypoint. Oh wait, 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 I, I completely f wasn't paying attention if I uh, connected that tick button. <laughs> Which I did, it's number three, right? Yeah, number three. Okay. <laughs>
All right, all right. Waypoint number one. Boop. Waypoint number two. We're gonna put like sort of way up here. Boop. And then waypoint number three. We'll put way across the map over there. Since we're flying like pre just straight or whatever, we don't have to keep on putting waypoints. You can you can if you want if you want to do like a loop de loop. But this is just a test. Boop. All right. Very long test. I don't know why I put my waypoints there. So I'm gonna fly near the the, the start, and then just sort of like turn on the plane on autopilot. And see what happens. And then next test will, I mean, assuming this test goes well, we'll do uh, we'll do another test for the, the 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 automatic landing sequence and stuff like that. All right, so here we go. And then turn it on. System's not getting thrust. Why not? It is trying to point in the right direction, I think. So that's good. But you're not all equal to zero. You're not supposed to be all equal to zero. I think I did a little uh, mistake with uh, writing in those values. It might be the number of connections I have on, uh, on these memory panels. Yeah, they're all just zero, huh? So that's writing in the number. What is the number? What is the number being written in? It should be these. those do not have numbers. Okay, so they have numbers. Can't get a tracker position? What? Since when? Dude, why are so many things breaking in scrap mechanic? I gotta I gotta actually see if this is broken now. Yeah, I guess I guess you can't really see <laughs> see anything. Not like that. Okay. I just disconnected a bunch of logic on that tra <laughs> on that tracker. Uh, okay, so I think there was some uh, there's something that I gotta. I might need two trackers, one to act like a proxy or whatever, because I think it was the position loop thing that I did, where I was feeding the tracker its own position. Uh, 
So then that means I need just a second tracker over here, color code it. There you go. So you're you're looking at the uh, the red tracker. The red tracker. I didn't save this blueprint at all, so I like I'm redoing some of this logic now from scratch because I don't remember what I connected to what. Let's also reset everything. Okay. So we're looking at a tracker, the red tracker. We're looking at the red tracker's position. Position is going to be written in here. Okay. I'm not even using this one. Or am I? Is that why... What? Yeah, that, that was why my tracker was backwards. I'm not even using this one anymore, though. Because it's over here now. So, red tracker is being tracked. Oh! Yeah, so what was I doing? I was... doing nothing. A whole lot of nothing. This tracker's distance is what moves us to the next waypoint. Okay. Boy, I got I got my two trackers. What am I doing with them? I don't even know. So. Okay, so the flight mode is tracking the tracker positions to write them in, which basically means we can track this orange tracker for that. Okay, so that's going to be written, uh, wait. Huh? What am I doing? What? Why did I have this hooked up into this multiplier here? I thought this was flight mode. I might have done my logic backwards at one point. Could you use a tracker to get your current position? And then, well, I don't need a tracker to get my current position. I can just orient block myself. But the point was to get this plane to fly without a pilot. Uh, then do a trig function to figure out which direction the waypoint is. And use that like the camera pointer. And that Wait, what? That's what I'm doing. Right? I thought that's what I was doing. <laughs> um, okay. So when I'm flying around... Where these numbers are going into where exactly? They go into a fake tracker. Okay. XYZ of the orange tracker in recording mode is also the thing that needs to be recorded in. Okay, in flight mode, 
we're taking those numbers from the memory panel and also sticking them in the virtual tracker over there, which is going to be tracked by the thing in the front. I think that was the issue. Oh, I don't know if I have... I think I reset everything. Alright, we'll do a, another test. Okay. Point number one, just kind of over here. Boop. Point number two, sort of over this mountain. And I'll, I'm not going to do as big of a flight path. It's just three points to test. Does it go from point, point, point? Boop. And then right back down there. Actually, I'll do a, a short kind of point up here. And then, uh, kind of one down here. And then, uh, because I also want to get my plane back. There you go, that's the final point. And now do I flick off the switch? Right, it wasn't getting thrust. Why? Right! That's that's right. It wasn't getting thrust. Why were you not getting thrust? I thought I tested that. The positions should not be zero. This one right here. Apparently was never reset. Okay, well. Okay, well, plane's just going now. It's not where the waypoint is. Ah, oh, it's gonna go up to the ceiling. Do I have that uh, <laughs> teleporter thing? Just this teleporter gun? Some Walmart brand teleporter gun? Oh yeah, this was the one that lets me teleport against the wall though. So that's good. I mean, it's getting thrust now. Why is it trying to fly away, though? Is it because I put that backwards? No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It, you know what? It might be because I put it backwards. No, it's not. It's, it's not at all because it's just positions. Direction doesn't matter on this one. So what is going on here? It's turning away from the waypoint. What the heck? I saw that before, but like, how the heck did I do that? We're pointing this thing to like fly. Yeah, it's straight up turning away from it. Why? I mean, I can just invert the, the controls. But, like, why? This red tracker thing... 
Why are you attached where? I swear I did not connect you there. What? What is it? What? This blue line. Oh yeah, no, that's from that. Okay, that's supposed to be there. Dude, my eyes. <laughs> what? Distance. To, yeah, okay, so it's just the distance and then the WASD. So let's take that tracker thing. Put it backwards, upside down. That wasn't backwards. That was upside down, but it wasn't backwards. There you go. Backwards, upside down. I don't know why. Randomly, the tracker mode has to be this way, but... Right, right, right. And then I cleared the memory panels, I thought. Okay, I am not controlling it. Where are you going? Still on memory slot zero. I have no idea what this plane is doing. I'm not controlling it. Right, like I can point this way, it's not doing anything. Point this way, it's not doing anything. I have no control. So what is it doing? You're still on memory slot zero? I th maybe maybe I just didn't have a, a like a a flight course programmed or whatever. I can't, I can't even dive bomb fast enough. All right. Okay, well this is a little bit of a problem now. I can't, uh, can't reset my... Everything's reset, reset, okay. All right, let's give it a try. Oh my God, just get in the air. Just get in the air. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Waypoint number one. It doesn't consider which way I'm facing or my speed or anything. So if I put my waypoint this way and then try to, like, loop back around on it or whatever, it's, it, like, it's just target points to be at. So, like, relative to where you are, your plane turn might be different. But that, I can't even really explain those considerations yet. What the heck's going on with this weird shading out there? Alright, so that's a, a bunch of waypoints. I'm gonna stay in the air. Stay in the air, stay in the air, stay in the air. Boop, switch over. And we're going up again. Why? Why? <sighs> I think some part of mine is like glitched the logic somewhere. I don't know, maybe one of the orient blocks, maybe one of the trackers or something, but this is this is uh like a level of 
I just don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> uh, I yeah. I think I just give up on this build. Or I put a lot of uh, numbers down. A lot of number blocks down to like measure what's happening. Debug. Why are you oh okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, well Hooray, an even dumber looking plane. Memory panels. Somewhere in the world, within, you know, 100 units, I don't know if there's, uh, wait, this is in blocks? There would be thousands. There you go, make sure I can see everything. right here well I guess uh, yeah this is kind of already working so why I mean why would it write in another number negative 482 yeah aside from me nudging my own plane it does record in the right numbers You know, I'm a huge freaking dingus. Did you know? Tracker. It has to be painted red. Upside down, pointing away. Distance there. Let's get rid of this. So yeah, I think I just forgot to paint it red. <laughs> okay, up we go. Everything's reset. Okay, waypoint number one. Boop. Waypoint number two. I just want to give the plane some distance between these waypoints. Because it, it takes a while to turn, so. Boop. And then waypoint number three, a little bit of a sharp turn.
boop, and then right down here. Boop. There you go. Now let's turn it on. Now you're not getting thrust. I thought I fixed that already. Are you at least trying to point in the right direction? No, not at all. I mean, now you kind of are, but like, why? Why aren't you getting thrust anymore? Why are you all equal to zero? Why is this? I'm so... Like... This white button... Resets a counter, does it not? Why is this never resetting? It's not supposed to be a... On, on slot six, it's supposed to... And it's also doing the thing where it's pointing away. Alright, well at least I can see if it's actually pointing away from its, uh, from its waypoint. Oh my god, no, I'm not I'm not waiting around for this. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, so on... Oh god, I don't know what that... No! <laughs> uh, well... They... <laughs> so I can see it's clearly, very clearly pointing away from its target. Let's try to fix that again. Why is it doing that? Why do you do that? Tracker, paint it red. The first virtual tracker position. Why are you, why are you in number four? Why are you in number four? What? I think it has something to do with the fake tracker position being zero or something. I don't know. Why is it still pointing away from it? Dude, what is wrong with the Orient block? How did it break so badly over like the last scrap mechanic update? Like how come the Orient block clearly points where I'm pointing my camera, clearly points to uh, like a player position, but tracker positions are broken. I'm done with it. Uh, it it's just not worth it for all, like, Scrap Mechanics parts to just keep breaking and breaking. I'm glad I didn't play this game for so long. <laughs> anyway, this is something that I saw. Uh, I don't... I have no idea when this person actually made this, but, um... This is, like, exactly what I was saying, that, uh, you know, people could recreate the Half-Life games in uh, challenge mode. What is that? Oh, they even have the the train sequence. I don't want to be here, man. I'm 
Busting out. Oh wait, this does open. Do I gotta wait? I literally gotta wait for the entire train ride. Shari, oopsie doopsie. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Okay, there's an exit. Sure, I'll take it. What's this? Nothing. Sector C. Uh, I'm confused. I mean, I'm here. Around the same time. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, okay, can't go in there. Danger, danger. What am I doing? <laughs> what is this challenge? No, the train! Don't I need to ride you? Whoops. Oh. I literally- okay, I just could've stood in the front at the start, not doing anything. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out, let me out. Oh, there was a pit. Uh, Ho-hum, there is a switch on the door. Can I reach the switch somehow? Not with uh, these physics. And I'm almost there anyway, so I don't know what I don't know what the big deal is. I can't just sit and wait. Can I can I rock the boat? Not really. Oh, cool, it even opens the door. <laughs> wait a second, so wait, can I just go over there? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Well, I think the spawn point is, uh, yeah, in the train, so that's good. That's actually very good. Funny how uh, copying a well-designed game leads to a well-designed challenge mode, right? What was that? Glow bug. Pushing your buttons. Yoink. Come on. Wait, there's no connections? I didn't open the thing completely. I should have held it longer. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> cool. Okay, sense sensor sensor no like. Sensor no like me. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a centrifuge! 
cool. Yoink. I don't know what that switch does. Alright, let's just get out of here. This is really cool. Yoink, yoink, can I, can I yoink? I can yoink the water, but not the potatoes. And the component kit. Mmm, microwaved potatoes. Mmm, baked potatoes. <laughs> That's cool, so are they just... Oh, I get, yeah, okay, they're just recycling a single pipe piece. Yeah, it just rolls up the thing. That's pretty cool. Interesting uh, mechanical presentation of a vending machine and scrap mechanic. <laughs> can't, can't get any of these potatoes or anything. Wait a second. This guy eating chicken nuggets? Oh boy. Alright, well, you had my hopes up for lots of stuff to look at. And it's gone. <laughs> no, nope, nope. Just a roll of toilet paper. Can't pick that up. Boop. Okay. The suit! The suit! I am not Durfo Lapelado anymore. I've, I've got the suit. <sighs> you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, Scrap McKinney. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> You're lucky I can push against this door. Oh, wait, no, I can't. You've got to be kidding me. This is the dumbest. This is not... <sighs> like, accidental soft lock for a challenge. What? Blah, 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 blah. I tried to use your door. Hey, look at the reflection on that uh, little bump. Gotta love how Scrap Mechanic improves those uh, visual graphics. Hmm? But a bunch of mod parts break, and then this shit happens. Like, mod... <sighs> I was so far in this stage, except for not. Alright. Oops, I just did it again. I'm still on simple one, good. Good, that's good. I want to stay on simple one this time. Good, because I'm out of here. Because I'm... Okay, I can't. Alright, I gotta... Nothing I can really do about that. What is that? Oh, that's the guy! That's the guy that's supposed to open the door. <laughs> Jeez, the door is gonna stop the train. Just, uh, can, 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 give, me, can, give me a lift, door. Just lift me up. Lift it, lift it, lift. Just, uh, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, now the door swings up, like, what was that? Couldn't do that earlier? <sighs> Fine. I was gonna run across the rail, but it, it looks like this is this is my ride. How's, uh, how's our buddy doing? I don't know if he's even in the same room. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. How does he open the door? Oh god, he has to be the one? 
All right, get over here. Um. Oh, it's even worse. Fine. <laughs> it's just. Duh. Still busting out of the train, though. Simple two. To the rescue. Actually, I can just open the freaking door. You are open, right? Whatever the spawn points in the train. <laughs> I just wanted to jump on top of the door. Oh my god. <laughs> I just can't. Alright. You got. Really? Oh my god. How do I break? things so badly. You're like right there. Oh. <laughs> if I played this normally, I probably would have beaten it by now. Can you, can you, you know what? Fine, you're gonna get the uh, simple treatment. I'm just glad this guy didn't freak out. Yeah, good job opening that door, buddy. Yeah, okay, so it's just uh, the color sensor, I think. And then there's a player sensor there. Boop. Alright. Come on, come on, come on! Speed run! Oh yeah, this, 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 this. Let's hold this down for a longer time. Okay, I guess nothing happened. Something here was happening, I don't know. A challenge bot? A switch and a controller. Another switch. Hmm. Well, nothing, I guess. Why did my... <laughs> right, I gotta watch out for these doors. Where am I going? Down here. Right. Skip that door entirely. Okay, maybe I gotta go in there first. Get the suit, that's right. I gotta get the suit. <laughs> Let's dance. Okay. Wait, what else do I gotta do? Do I, am I just not supposed to... Not supposed to go there? Huh. <laughs> Thought I got stuck again. 
Well, I gotta say, this is a really well-made challenge. I'm liking it. Despite, despite me failing to play it three times. Hey, remember when I said I wanted to get things done the first time? Wasn't there a person standing there? Boop, beep boop. Flickety switch. Do I just jump down? I mean, I guess so. It's been so long since I played uh, Half-Life that, like, I, I kind of don't remember. I remember some parts. Really. <clears throat> um, yeah, the reason why I even uh, downloaded this was because, like, a couple... A69, a couple weeks ago or whatever, whenever it was. I don't know when this person posted this, but I remember a previous uh, live stream or whatever I was talking about. Recreating the uh, Half-Life stuff. Oh, this is a teleporter. Am I supposed to be in it? Go inside of it. Is I supposed to teleport? I don't know what this is. I don't know, something doesn't seem right. Maybe I kind of sequence broke this thing by just jumping in. Anyway, I was thinking, uh, cause like, um, uh, one of the best puzzle designs for, for like Half-Life was using its uh, physics engine, which was like a new thing back in, back in the day. So like you'd have to take the barrel that was buoyant underwater and put it underneath a thing to raise your jump for your, for, for the vehicle that you were driving so like you know it was a it was a example of how to create puzzles using the elements of a physics engine it was interesting anyway I, I just push it I'm supposed to push it maybe that's what it uh, that like the piston was supposed to push this up Oh, okay, finally. There we go. Oh, cool! <laughs> cool. The next stage starts with this and the fire effects, too. So, like, I, I have never... Oh, something weird's going on there. But I never actually saw, like, the effects editor stuff. Oh, and I have a hammer this time. Nice. In the uh, in like the challenge mode editor, editor. So like I, I don't know. I the the one thing that stopped me from actually making remaking the Half Life puzzle that I wanted to was uh, water. I never knew how to put water in challenge mode, and I never tried. So that's something that I'm kind of I guess looking forward to to seeing if. Uh... Oh my leg! Fire and fire and more fire. Cool. Is that supposed to be a head crab? I mean, I could just bust in. Um. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I just gotta keep on going. This is a great challenge. It makes me completely forget about how the Orient block broke with a scrap mechanic update. <laughs> All right. More 
more glass breaking. This is definitely more of like a... Uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Like a fan thing? Homage to Half-Life? Because I think the, the, the breaking of the glass can get... Uh, not really tedious and annoying, but... Ooh, smoke effect. Okay, elevator doesn't work. Where am I going? What am I doing? What I was trying to say was that it's like uh, more very obviously as oh god, <laughs> more very obviously a scrap mechanic challenge than the feel of uh, how, what Half Life gives you. You know what I mean? Kind of takes it away from how much I can appreciate this for being Half Life when I'm too busy breaking glass blocks. That's that's what I wanted to say. What am I doing here? What do I do here? I'm not sure if that's even supposed to be where I, you know, accessible to me. Do I go up there? That could be a thing. Like if I was supposed to roll the pipe but I'm refusing to. In the game, there's a ladder in the elevator shaft. You think they mean this? This doesn't really have the collision to... to Oh. Oh, for freaky deaky. Okay, there was no way to... <laughs> that was not obvious. The heck am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? <laughs> ah. It's like this every time, right? Every time that I launch Scrap Mechanic, there's like a little bit of magic and then very quickly the magic is gone because of one of the dumbest things ever in Scrap Mechanic that has still not been fixed. Oh, for a second there I thought this is Hi. What is that? <laughs> is that, is that loss? You know what? There might be some, uh... Water? Component kit? Some loot for me to take? Turn on the microwave? Is he gonna blow up? Give me a drink. Yeah, blow up! Nope. Nope. Where am I going? Okay. No one at the computer. Bouton, glow bug still there? I'm taking your your glow juice. No, that platform 
No. Wait, so what what am I what am I doing? <laughs> this is uh Probably could have used that uh, ammo. I don't know. I can't uh, pick up the potatoes. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. I think uh, for the a like, it's so weird that I can pick up water, component kits, um, the the glow sticks. I can pick up uh, seeds and stuff like that. But for whatever reason, not potatoes. Okay, what am I actually doing? Again, also not really an obvious thing. I think that uh, was like a more obvious thing in, uh, like in Half Life, you would see the the vent that you could. Yeah, I guess I'm not supposed to even. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm just lost. <clears throat> Hit the vents in the lobby with your hammer. Oh. Yeah, you guys, you guys telling me the answers? Hey, look at that, more stuff that I can pick up. All right, duckies. Emergency, emergency, line up soldiers. We, we, we gotta, we gotta run through the uh, quackity D. I don't even know what I'm. All right, that was it. Next stage. Buds and gun. I got the gun. So I don't think this game is uh, nearly done. <laughs> you duck. <laughs> like what? What even is this? What is this little duck lore all over this? Uh... <laughs> Just a big duck hand. Like what? Okay. I'll take that. Somehow that makes the elevator fall? What? How did that make the elevator fall? Or was that just like a timer thing? See, look at all the effects and stuff. Oh. Oh, I would totally make more challenges if challenge mode was just slightly better. But I'm I'm happy to see that it's you know making the steps. Step number one, step number two, it, it's getting there. Forklift, cannot drive. There's also smoke effect. Pretty cool. Beep, 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 boop. Ah, my legs! Alright, come on, buddy. You're coming with me. Go get the head crab. I think I managed to avoid it for quite a while. There. All right. Okay, I, you can't open the door or what? Can I open? Oh, I just can't open the door. Oh, here we go. This way, friend. I don't know if... Uh... Yeah, I think you can fit. Get on in there. Yeah, get on in there. Yeah, buddy. We're, we're going to the end. Yeah. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Scrap again. No. <laughs> I was... <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is not even the kind of stuck I wanted to be. <laughs> this is just... Oh, you're just cruel. Can, like, physics save me? Not really. <sighs> Can't move around. Why? Well, I am moving. I might as well wait it out. I think. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not really getting heights, but I am moving, moving forward. Yes! Yes! It paid off! <laughs> uh, you schmucks would have reset. Not me. Because I like to get things done the first time. <laughs> uh, could I be in it any more worse? <laughs> Scrap mechanic player. Alright. There you go. Head first, just like a baby. You got it, buddy. You got it. You got it, buddy. You got it, but Okay, legs first. Smoochy smooch. Don't hurt my friend. It doesn't know how to use the stairs. <laughs> oh, hey, J hey, Jelly. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, we're just playing a little bit Half Life. Okay, go, 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 go. Up, 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 up. Yes. Was I even supposed to turn that? I don't know. Don't you dare fall down back the, uh, down yet. Yeah. Don't, don't you dare fall back down. Okay. Is this the, is this the water? The water area with the buoyancy thing that I was talking about? Beep boop boop bop. Oh good, it just slides right across that. Another valve. Oh, I get it. Like the game. Developers. Don't worry about your, uh, don't worry about your fallen buddy, buddy. I got a new buddy for you, buddy. Ducks. Ah, this one's like a love story. So, I guess, uh, I guess we don't go in here then. I guess our journey continues outwards that way, yeah. Alright, up you go, buddy. Over the rails. Over the rails. I know I said don't go over the rails last time, but now, now you gotta go. No, no. Yes. Let's just hope that I don't gotta bring him back up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, my legs. Oh yeah, back to the forklift. Wait, is this the way out? Why am I going back? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Where am I actually supposed to go? Uh-oh. 
All right, well, you just uh, you just rest here, buddy. I don't know what I'm doing. Because I forgot how to play Half-Life. Is here where I'm supposed to go? This is where I came from, right? <clears throat> Dropping you down took me back. Oh, I wasn't supposed... Okay. So then going down here... Oh my god! Scrap mechanic. This is seriously one of the most annoying experiences. Play this game. So then what am I supposed to do? Hey, it's another buddy! Yeah, I could. Buddy just has to open the door. I'm not your buddy, guy. Yeah. I'm not your guy, yeah, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. Just open the door. So close. How are you not opening the door? I'm just... You, you gotta tell me what I gotta do. I don't remember Half-Life well enough to know what I'm even doing here. Do I turn this off? Turn it on? Like, this is... <clears throat> it's not... Uh, this is just one of the more annoying things in a, in a challenge is when you have to sit here breaking individual blocks. So I don't know... I don't think this is the way out. But if they did make this the way out, what? Yeah, no, I didn't think it would be. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not. What the heck am I doing? You come out of here, you go up here, you turn the valve. Bippity boopy bop. Go here, you turn another valve. You go into a room. Alright, well... Jumping down sends me back. Why is this... Why is this... Why is this red? Why is this red? There's their buddy. Are we still, like, is this even the same stage? Or am I on a, a different stage in the random duck? Oh. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Is this, uh, is this place open? Nope. I'm just looking for openings now. Like, there's this stuff. 
More ammo. Cool. Is, was that it? What the heck? Why didn't I see that? Cool. <laughs> Very effective explosion. What the heck? What even was that? So it was through this door, through this window. Where's my buddy? The original buddy. Buddy! Now that we found the way out, we're bringing you along. Let's go. It's a buddy-sized window that you just gotta fit through. I already took uh, care of all the danger and explosives. You're not gonna, you're not gonna explode on me today, buddy. You know. Nah, all right, all right. I tried to, uh, you know, I tried to get the door working for you, buddy, but that's the window. Ah, buddy, what are you doing, buddy? No if ands, or buts. You're getting in that window. All right, that, that 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 could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. This probably looks really stupid. Like I'm wasting my time. Oh! Hold on a second. Hold on a second, buddy. <laughs> We are not wasting time here. <laughs> this is very much worth it. This is very much worth it. You're not going to convince me otherwise. I will gladly be the only person in Scrap Mechanic the entirety of the entire game to have brought Buddy to the end. No, Buddy! Buddy, why do you gotta be such a lightweight? Like, I, I just kicked you when you went across the room. Oh. Alright, maybe... Maybe just like a few more minutes of trying this. I just wanna, like, set up... Oops. Buddy kicked me back. I want to set up like a good leaning buddy, you know? Lean right on in there, buddy. Oh, but being so lightweight is just like he can't do much of anything with him without him flying all over. Gentle. Okay, okay, now gently. My god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I just want to get it like leaning up against the window, right? So if I can just like, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. I want to hit it ever so slightly. A little more. Uh, 
Okay. <clears throat> oh. oh, come on! That was a good. That was a good positioning. Uh, all right. Oh my God! You s swing and hammer. Up you go. Come on, buddy. Okay, backwards, fine. Up. Up, up, up. You don't do it backwards. Buddy, you're an idiot. That's a great way to move, buddy. All right. See Daisy. Now, if only this shoulder wasn't, uh, you know, a, a, a problem here. <laughs> Just stay there, buddy, while I smack you in the back of the head. All right, one more, one more try at like a good setup, and then I'm just gonna give up on buddy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's all I gotta do is just threaten the game that I'm gonna stop doing what I'm doing. If you don't, you know, happen right now, buddy, I'm just gonna leave you. Oh my god, don't go too crazy, buddy, okay? I still need you in this world. <laughs> I sound lonely. <laughs> I sound lonely, and, and buddy seems like he's gonna end everything. It's like, don't you dare do it, buddy. I still need you in this world. Oh, right, right, right. Here was the explosion. <laughs> Jeez. It's been so long. Who even is Buddy? You ever thought about that? Like, in the actual Half-Life playthrough? Which NPC is this? That I'm, that, uh, that I'm taking. <clears throat> Oh, there's another one. Nothing. It says do not enter. So I shall not enter. I don't know what kind of fancy sensors they have looking at that. Ready to troll me. A vent. Boop. Ah, uh, we gotta go in the water. There's a, a head crab in there. What's that? Another buddy in a dumpster? With a tank of water? Yeah, you just wait out in the dumpster. It'll all be over soon. Alright. <clears throat> buddy. We're, we're going in. Oh, God. Wait, which way do I go in? Does it matter? This looks like a way up. And they're breaking my way up! Jerks. So I think, uh, out of all the stages available in this challenge pack, this is the last stage available. Which I'm kind of upset about. I want more. Yeah, buoyancy stuff. You see that, buddy? What am I doing here? Oh wait, am I supposed to take this? I don't think this hole in the wall is normal. But is that the thing that... Okay, so I, I was only supposed to come down here... Just to turn this valve. Why did this thing open then? 
Yeah, it doesn't even open itself. Also, how am I supposed to, uh... Like, th this is supposed to be my way back up, right? I don't know if I can get Buddy back up. I thought this was the way to continue, so this is, this is unfortunate. Yeah, the, I don't, I don't see any way of getting Buddy up here. I'm gonna try a little bit, but like, just for Buddy, you know? How the heck? I can't even get him up out of the water. Oh. No! <laughs> That's the wrong way, buddy. Hmm. Oh, wait. Maybe the ladder, if it wasn't so broken. Or maybe because the ladder's broken, I can use it to assist Buddy. Okay, get, get out of my... Get out of my way, boy. I'm helping Buddy. You know what would have helped? The tote box. Where the heck did he go? <laughs> oh my god. When it gets so violent, I have no idea what's gonna happen. No, that's the wrong hole, buddy. Well, don't take that out of context. Alright, well, I'll just use these pipes, get myself back up, and, and just get out of here. Sorry, buddy. You're being left behind. If only I knew not to bring you down here. Because now this is open. What's open now? This? No. Yes? No. This is where I came from, right? Yeah, this is where I came from. What am I doing? <laughs> How do I play Half-Life? Where do I go? Oh my god, how... How does this happen with almost every challenge that I play? Like, it was really good in the beginning, and then all of a sudden it's just these... ...dead stops. I, I have no idea where to go. Buddy! <laughs> Another buddy! What am I doing? Oh, I just fell down. Seri was this seriously just to unlock this, just to bring this over here? What do I need this for then? I, it's not like I'm gonna be bringing this up. I'm pretty sure that was just for me to step on the ladder. Oh my god. I just don't know. I I don't know. I actually don't know what to do. Cool. The entire shelf. Does this... This d actually does open. Nah, there's like something else keeping this in place. Is 
Is that open? That door doesn't open. What? Seriously? What the freaky deke am I doing? There's nothing in the dumpster. Do I go back this way? Like that. Wah, 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 wah. Go back through the broken window. Th through this window? Why? Like, I'm so lost. What the heck is this game? It's not the game, it's this challenge. And it's not, it has nothing to do with Half Life either. It's just the same thing that I. This. Ugh. I think I'm just coming to the conclusion like, scrap mechanic challenges are just bad. Not trying to say that this challenge is bad, it's actually very good. But. It. There's some. How, how, do, how do I phrase it in a way that actually says what I'm trying to say? I feel like if you were to try to recreate Half-Life in another game that is more prepared and more structured in creating not necessarily challenges, but like these little things that people play through, that game would do a much better job than Scrap Mechanic does at recreating Half-Life. Let alone just having great challenges to play. The thing that I'm saying is that the, the individual challenges that people make, like what challenge makers do with what they're given is amazing. What they're given is awful. Is just awful. My goodness. Like it's, it, it's because every time I'm playing like, like an awesome challenge like this, it just gets frustrating. The, the like the random, random little hiccups that kind of make the entire experience not worth it. Like what? It, it frustrates me because Axelot put in so much time and effort into even having challenge mode in their game, when if it's like this, they shouldn't have. But it's not its not anyone's fault. It's not like the person that made this challenge. It's not their fault. Although they could have jumped through some like extra hoops to like put large flashing arrows. Now do this, player. Now do this other thing, player. But, like, challenge makers shouldn't have to jump through these extra hoops just to make challenge mode seem like a good idea for Axelot's sake. You know what I mean? Axelot can just make a good challenge mode. That's, that's the part that I meant. It's like, it's really not worth it anymore. It's not worth making challenges, it's not worth playing challenges, it's not worth making mods, it's not worth playing with mods. It, like, all of Scrap Mechanic is just not worth it anymore because of how much is breaking down. Ser okay, seriously though, does anybody, like, know how do I con how do I continue this, or...? <laughs> Go back through Broken Window, know the other one. What? Dude, other one in a live stream chat provides no context. I have no idea what other one you mean. It's in the room with the red thing, or it's in the room with the blue thing. Like, you, you have to provide context. It's in the room with the water. It's in the room with the... Broken window. Broken window. The only broken windows that I know is right here, because I broke this one. Okay, so then I went in here. Went in here. This doesn't do anything. Doesn't go anywhere anyway. Here was an explosion. Here, I picked up some ammo that I didn't need. This doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. I don't know why it doesn't do anything. It kind of seemed like it just a tile fell off the wall. Is that a clue? Am I supposed to hit every tile on the wall? Like, I'm not doing that. And there was this underwater section, which definitely seems like a like, not complete. The heck? This door doesn't even open. There's nothing. Yeah, nothing in the, in the dumpster. So, yeah, so whether or not you fall down 
Doesn't matter. This is the... Yeah, this is... Not just the fourth wall that I broke there. So then there's this, which I could close myself in. And then what? Is this gonna magically open? Nope, because it doesn't open. If I was in there, like, there's no way for me to... I could shut myself in. Why? And, like, that was only to get this, you know, floating piece of garbage. There's just nothing here. What am I doing? You opened the door earlier, you might want to make a U-turn. I... Uh, okay, well, I mean... <laughs> That's not relative instructions. What? I just had to walk here? So literally, that glass that I just walked through... I skipped the entire underwater section without knowing it, and then went back underwater just to pop out here, just to walk back through it. I just never walked here. Like, seriously, a giant flashing arrow would have done the trick. Or... <laughs> That's just... Uh, I, I just, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it's just... Like, you guys saw that, right? Like, you guys saw how ridiculous that was? It's not just me saying challenge mode is bad. And, like, this challenge was good. Now I'm starting to think the challenge maker doesn't know how to... Direct player. Like, ooh, fancy effect it doesn't mean anything if... I can't finish a stage because of the dumbest thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like... Oh, <laughs> oh, it's really, it's really like, because the idea of this challenge is fantastic, right? This challenge should be way better than what it is. That's, that's my frustration, really. It hit six, it hit nine. So these giant crates can be moved. What am I doing with all this stuff? There is a thing over here. I don't know what it does. Is that open? It does not open. Number nine doesn't open. All right, so I guess we're just, uh, do I just gotta put all the crates on this thing? Giant switch in the back. No doors open. I mean, I'm gonna go through the vent. Buddy! Aw, oh, buddy. Boop, boop, boop. Flip the big power switch. Aw, oh, Speen! Speen! Yes! Durf updates title and thumbnail? No. I'm not going to. Okay, so there's just like an underground sensor that opens the door. What was the point of that? What was the point of going into the room? Why? Why? I didn't get anything from here. I turned on the switch. That's what it was. What did the switch do? What did the switch do? What did the switch do? <sighs> I'm gonna assume it has something to do with this platform. I can't... It's... <laughs> Got, like, I'm getting frustrated because, like, what does the Switch do? It doesn't show you anything. But if you were to look at the game Half-Life, and you flick a Switch, it shows you what it does. There's a vent. There's a vent in here? I mean, that's the vent that I came from. I literally, I literally just went in here, beep, 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 like this into this room just to flick this switch and walk out. 
That's why I was like, okay, so why did I do all of that? What was the point of that entire journey? It's that switch. But what does a switch do? No idea. So, like, you wonder why I get stuck on challenges sometimes. <laughs> now I'm just kind of operating on the assumption that this platform is, like, on a piston or something. Yeah. Yeah, see? It's on a piston. So... Big ol' heavy things on a piston. Let's go down. Oh my god, can you just go on the thing? <laughs> Let's just go on it. There you go, rotating seems to help. Is there uh, secret stuff in here? There is. I thought so. Wow. Well, you know, you, you do you do your thing, bots. You do your thing. Oh, is there more? More ammo? No, oh, is that empty? That's empty. I don't know, how far do you think the elevator goes? Ah, uh, more bots. Wait. I mean, I could... Oops. Oh, and I got fall damage. But whatever, I could just wait on top of the crate. Are you serious? They just open the crate? Alright. <clears throat> buddy! We'll just, we'll just chill here, buddy. <laughs> oh, God! Wow, if they destroyed the piston. Dude, boss destroying things are also like a huge breaking factor in uh, in challenges. Like I almost got soft lost in that underwater section because of the you know the ladder they broke. What is Annie and all of this? More duck. That's an explosive. So that's useful to, to know. There's nothing in there. Ooh. More ammunition. So what am I doing? I got a stack of boxes to go up. Is that it? Cool. Yeah, about that. Maybe I wanted to go across. And like, I could have actually done that if I just like sprinted. Oh, I could just go across these. Jump down or go into the vent. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. But let me guess, that's all supposed to take me up here. I mean, yeah, this box moves. So is this box. It, you know, if I could just stack them. Or 
just push this one along? Or does it, is this shelf? Nah. Fine, I'll just use this one. Is this, uh... Hey, ammo. Nice. So I'm guessing that that entire journey that I'm going to be going through uh, in the next room or whatever is... is just going to lead me here. Ducks. What the heck? Spider duck. Spider duck. Shoots a web out of his... Uh, never mind. <clears throat> boop, boop, boop. So that was a uh, room just for ammo? Seriously, what is this door? There's a switch on the other side of the door. Wait, what? What am I doing with this? <laughs> Alright, let's just go this way. Because this is where I was supposed to go. I could go down there, but uh, let's see what the vent has to say first. Because it's going to take me to the same place anyway. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are the other... I don't know where that is. I don't know where this is either. It's the same place. Super fast elevator. What is this? All right, get this ammo. Uh, I mean, I guess this is the safe way to go down. Yeah. Yeah. Why couldn't I just jump? Nah, 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 nah. Part of me wants to get across. Oh god, why did I even jump? I won't be able to get back up. I'm an idioto. What am I getting hurt from? Jeez. Hello, buddy. Well, I guess uh, I guess this is the only way they intend you to to get across. I'm pretty sure there's an explosive in this, though, right? Yeah, yeah, there is. Okay, so I, I just want to go back up. Uh, just so that I can make an attempt at getting across here. How am I going to do that? Could. Let's see. I do not have... I, I'm going to get three blocks of cardboard from this. Two blocks of cardboard? Can I get across the gap with two blocks of cardboard? Now to position it without losing it. <laughs> Alright, come on, cardboard. We, we, we're going places. Maybe. Maybe. Ha- oh. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> this... 
Yeah, I mean, I could just uh, do do what you said in the chat. Just put a box there. Use the height for like extra jump. I could even try bringing. Oh god, that's falling. Oh, that's probably the best height that I could have gotten. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that's gonna. Another option would be if I can, like, bring a, an explosive up with me. Instead of having wasted it for down there. I mean, I'm... I don't even know if this is accessible or not anyway. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> so there might be no point. But it's it's the cheese, you know? I gotta. Oh, there's this. Not very good. Yeah, not, not very good. But I could use this to move the cardboard. Oh my god, cardboard, just, just go. Yes. <laughs> if I just need get the cardboard anywhere near the... Okay. Alright, whatever. I, you know what, I'm gonna cut out another one. <laughs> cut out another one. Or just fall down completely. Let's see. Can I can I use this to like launch myself? Yeah, not far enough. All right, I'm just gonna go. Whatever. It's just I'm gonna assume that it's not worth it because there's nothing over there anyway. And these are not loose, so I can't really use them. Hi. Oh. Huh? Wait, where did I just come from? Here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nobody... Nobody in the office? I don't know, this looks like, uh, I'm supposed to go that way. Am I still on Physics 1? I am! I gotta watch out for that. Maybe, maybe, maybe put it back up. <laughs> oh god, why is it lagging? It's not going back down either. Uh, parkour with a low ceiling. Oh boy, my favorite. Seriously, this is the worst thing that you could do to parkour. Actually, no, it's not. It's the second worst thing that you could do to parkour in any challenge. The number one worst thing that you could do is what you saw earlier, where I was right up against a wall and just stuck on something. Don't, like, as, you know, as much fun as the wall parkour is, jumping from little shelf to shelf, you gotta be careful how you build it. So just like this, you bonk your head. It eats it, it eats away your jump. This one's a little bit lower, so this is this is fine. There you go. Are we done? Still nowhere close to the stage. Uh, that I was talking about earlier, though, with the with the buoyancy thing, the buoyancy bridge. I think that's still quite a ways in the game Half Life. Is this? Yeah, this is this is the same. This is the hallway. This is the hallway. So it would have been uh, sequence breaking if I did skip it. Like it would have been, it would have been a huge skip. Oh God, hi. Danger. 
Huh? Oh, it's a it's a light. Huh? How? Where is that light? It's, it's, it's a cool effect to have that over the button. But, uh... Whatever. Gobble. Alright, pretty good, pretty good uh, challenge pack. Terrible challenge mode. Good challenge pack. What was it even called? Scrap Mesa. By Commander Cal. I hope that they're going to continue making it, because I want to get to that point uh, in in Half-Life with the buoyancy bridge, you know? The buoyancy bridge. Parkour test chambers. Sure, I just got frustrated at some parkour. Let's go get frustrated at some more parkour. Super quick. Didn't I already uh, play this? I don't know if I played this already. What is this? Oh. Oh. Okay, kind of terrible for a third person. Oh! Just jump straight to... <laughs> Just jump straight... Oh my god. Just jump straight to the red platform. Okay, no, I can't do that. How about, how about straight to blue? Yeah, just no... I gotta let go of W at some, some point. So, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, pretty much. Oops. Oh, there's glass here? Why is there glass here? It's going a little bit easy on me, don't you think? I don't know where that was going. Push to Putin. Cool, it's like a Mario Party minigame. Just gonna stay here with your friends. Sumo, sumo each other off. I mean... Slowly I'm getting pushed to the edge, but... I don't know, is that it? I can fight against it? Ooh, challenging. I don't know. I don't see this as uh, parkour. Maybe there's uh, something else I can do. Spawn. What is this? This is not. Uh, this is not parkour. It is getting faster and faster, though. I'm guessing it's just going to be that. You know, that's something that I also didn't really understand about uh, challenge mode. Not really having like a proper multiplayer. Every challenge is created to be cooperative. If you're doing multiplayer, like playing with somebody else. But this is a game that's supposed to be like versus, right? A lot of challenges are actually versus. So, like, how... There's not really a way to, you know, say player two is the winner. Of round one. Right? Or of, you know, of stage one or whatever. Like... <sighs> I You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just stop talking about why Scrap Mechanic's a terrible game. Because, <laughs> like, custom game modes is technically the thing that was supposed to answer all of those concerns, except that it answered none of them. Literally none of them. Zero. <laughs> Remember when I said I was gonna stop talking? Uh, see, okay, how, how do I finish the stage? Nah, you know what? I'm, I'm just I'm just done. <laughs> so I'm just done. 
Yeah, good game design takes vision into account. Player just go from shiny to shiny, but they need to see the right shinies at the right time. Oh yeah, that was probably an old message that I read. Hey, Yorit, if you're... Are you still in the chat? Uh, you're at 200? I'm gonna play... One, one, one game. That Yorit knows about. Actually, it might come out very loud. I need to open my volume mixer real quick. There we go. <clears throat> um... Oh god, don't open on the wrong window. <laughs> Why does it always open on the wrong window? Or the, the wrong monitor. It's fine. It's my terrible programming. All right, now time to see if you guys even see the game. No, I, I think I showed this actually once before. Huh. It actually just doesn't want to show. Well then. Okay. Then if you're if you guys are in my Discord, uh just ask Yorit for the uh, front facing baby chick game. Yorit is free to distribute that game as as much as they please. Anybody that wants to play it, they can play it. It's just a little uh it's a remake of Flappy Bird. Not even not even good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so then I think uh, uh, I think well, I've been streaming for three hours. I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. Get back to work on the other stuff that I was doing. Which, by the way, I do have some big announcements coming soon. Um, no, I know that you can't see anything. I I'm just not trying that anymore. You know what? For the time being, actually, while while I'm t explaining these uh, other announcements and stuff, I'll put up something else on the screen. There you go. <laughs> I'll get the high score on this game again. But yeah, no, so if you remember, uh, I made a video about the cheese contest. So if you have no idea what it is, go check it out. It's just explaining this game and uh, you can find different cheese methods in it. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a contest. You can actually win a prize. The, the contest is still ongoing. Um, the first two, actually three prizes have already been claimed. So I'm not sure if there's any more prizes to claim. That's kind of up to you guys if you want to try and find it. Um, but yeah, the announcements, the winners are going to be announced. Actually, they're already known. <laughs> but they're going to be announced very soon with the with the upcoming announcements, the other big announcements. I've been working for like the past few weeks. That's why you haven't seen me uh, do videos and live streams for a while. I've just been working on other stuff. You're going to see the result of all that. Uh, very soon as well as the you know announcements of who won the cheese contest and you know giving away the prizes so yeah um i should probably uh, get off my butt and then actually go work on that if i want you know I, I hope to have it done by um whatchamacallit <laughs> next week i don't know if it's gonna be done that soon but uh I i'm making some pretty good progress on it Literally, uh, this morning before streaming, I created like 37 prefabs of stuff just for this game that is going to be given to everybody for free. So I spent a lot of hours working for nothing, basically. 
But it's all, it, it, it's, it's gonna make sense later. It's a stupid idea that you're all gonna hate that you love it. <laughs> that's, that's, exa that's exactly, that's exactly the feeling that you're gonna get when you see it. You hate that you love it. That's, <laughs> that's I can't wait to show you guys. But it, it's gonna have to wait, it's not ready yet, so. Anyway, that's it for today's stream, folks. Thanks, uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the donos. Very much appreciated, Yorit. You're always very generous. And, uh, yeah, Yorit... Yorit 200 is the purveyor of front-facing baby chick. If you want to play some uh, front-facing baby chick, it's up to Yorit 200. They are the decider. They can distribute, you know, the game to whoever asks Yorit 200. But you gotta ask Yorit. You can't ask me. Anyway, that's uh, that, that's it for today's stream, folks. I'll uh, keep on reminding me to play Stormworks. I'll, I'll have to get into it at some point. I have the same with like Minecraft and a bunch of other games that I have to play too. Anyway, thanks uh, th thanks for hanging out. Bye, folks. Bye. Get out of here. Bye. Get the fi flippity floop. I'm a poop. Out of here. What about Space Engineers? Yeah. Yeah. Y yeah, you gotta keep on reminding about me about these games. Because th the problem is there's just so many. There's just a, a long list of games that I want to play. So, like, if I streamed every day, I couldn't work on those other things anymore. Which kind of sucks. But if I did stream every day, probably the very next game that I would stream is uh, some good old Shapezio. It's been a long time since I played Shapez. Or Shapes. You know, spelt with a Z. It, it used to be Shapes.io. And for the longest time, I've had the puzzle DLC, and I've just never played it. I think it was the developers that even sent me the pu puzzle DLC, and then it's... <laughs> I just never played it. Like, I'm sorry, developers. So, I've got... Uh, yeah, 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 I, I got heard some announcements that uh, Chapez 2 is going to be coming out sometime very soon. And it's uh, pretty much the same game, but, like, in 3D, I think. So, it's different, because you have different uh, depths and stuff. facing baby chick. Yeah, front face of <laughs> Anyway, so like the next next time I stream, I don't know when that's gonna be next weekend or sometime during the week. I I'm gonna fire up some uh, Shapezio. There's also some like very old Lego games that uh, I remember being amazing games that I haven't fired up in a long time, and I have them on my uh, Epic Games account. It's like uh, Lego Star Wars or something like that. Like that, like one of the one of the most legendary Lego games there are. So I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm gonna do some of those in some upcoming live streams too. So you just gotta keep on reminding me. You gotta keep on reminding me of whatever games you want. I'm sorry that I can't play like 20 games at the same time. <laughs> so I, it's got to be a one, at, one at a time type of thing. <laughs> anyway, I uh, think you know I'm glad you guys are enjoying what I do, and I hope to uh, keep on doing it. Uh, you know, after these big projects. I gotta focus, get these big projects done, and then I'll try to, you know, stream and do videos more regularly again. But I just gotta get this stuff out of the way. Yeah. Is that the one from the Yoda death sound? Oh, you know what? I don't know where the, the Yoda death sound originated from. I, I can't even do a good impression of it. I think it, it might have been a pod racer game. No, it might have been the... Legos. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a, it's interesting. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> when I was telling you to get the flippity floop, I gotta poop out of here. No, I, I, I gotta tell myself to get the flippy floop out of here. Stream's over, folks. Bye. <laughs>